Morning, everybody. This is Monday morning, 6th of September, the very first reboot devotional. And I'm going to be doing these Monday to Thursday through the month of September. And they're just going to be really short uh, reflections on a piece of scripture. And we're going to start in Romans chapter 6. Let me read verses 1 and 2 to you, okay? Romans 6, 1 and 2. What shall we say then? Shall we go on sinning so that grace may increase? By no means. We are those who have died to sin. How can we live in it any longer? Now, I don't know about you, but that verse has been something about which I felt a lot of different emotions over the years. And the reason I'm starting in Romans chapter 6 is because Paul, in this section of the letter, is unpacking the power of your new identity in Jesus. If you've yielded your life to Jesus, there is a nuclear transformation that has been unleashed in your life. You see, most of us live on a continuum, and the continuum's between legalism or cheap grace. Now, legalism is you have to behave and, and do the right things in order to earn the favor of God. Cheap grace is the complete opposite of that. His grace accepts you, and you don't have to do anything. They're both lies, and they're both destructive. And right into the middle of this, Paul cuts in Romans chapter 6 with a powerful truth. And it's this. Identity. Identity. Now listen, I'm trying to find this here. Do you see that little uh, logo there? Many of you have probably noticed it on CV literature or whatever. There's a reason we chose that. Let me go a little closer. There you go. You can see that there's two colors of green juxtaposed with each other. What it is, is it's a play on the uh, the Buddhist symbol, yin and yang. You know, the contrasts of life. But what we have sown right into the center of our community is the truth that Paul's getting at here in Romans chapter 6. Grace and transformation. Grace and action. Grace leads us somewhere. Grace is not just acceptance. It's also provision and substance of a new life. You are a new creation. You are a new creation. And you have a new identity. Let me read this. I wrote this just earlier. Jesus blows the perspective of legalism versus cheap grace out of the water. You are new. Your identity is new. Which means that as you let in this new identity and let it define who you are, it will begin to become what you do. Your identity becomes what you do. But it starts with identity, not response. You don't behave and the identity comes. You receive what God purchased for you. And you begin to live out of that. Response comes when you see yourself through his grace. Deeply, personally, even when you do not feel that way, you tell your feelings who you are. Only then does transformation come. Let me pray for you. Jesus, by your spirit, today, will you speak to us what Paul understood here and was trying to get us to understand that we have a new identity. And because of that, we have a new life. Because we are a new creation in you. And there is a different purpose. And there is a different power. And there is a different potential. And there is a different destiny for all of us. And it begins with knowing who we are. 
pray that you would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation to grasp this. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great Monday, everybody. We'll see you tomorrow morning.